Calgary MP Kent Hare has been kicked out of the Liberal cabinet after allegations of sexual misconduct stemming from 2008 and his time at the Alberta legislature. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said in a statement just before leaving to Ottawa from Davos, Switzerland this afternoon that he has accepted Hare's resignation. Here's Trudeau earlier today speaking about the stance on issues like this from his party. Obviously, as I've said uh, many times throughout this week, it's really important to believe and support uh, any woman who comes forward with uh, allegations of sexual harassment or, or sexual assault. Uh, and that's exactly what uh, my government and myself, we do. Uh, I don't need to remind anyone of the positions I've taken from the very beginning uh, of my leadership on uh, issues around this. I am unequivocal in uh, my support uh, for women who step forward with, uh, with allegations of this nature. The person at the heart of the allegations, named Kristen Raworth, put out on Twitter last night, My first day working at the Alberta legislature, I was told to avoid being in an elevator with Kent Hare. He would make comments. He would make you feel unsafe. She continued, There's literally no woman who worked in the annex who didn't experience this. He made verbally, sexually suggestive comments to all of us who, in an elevator with me, and only me, said, quote, You're yummy. Seems nothing but ask me how many women share stories about him. She continues, my story and most of our stories, thankfully, don't end with assault, but they end up in fear in a community of that women who told each other about the man who scares you in an elevator. United Conservative leader Jason Kenney, meanwhile, uh, tweeted a response on Thursday morning saying, quote, sexual misconduct has no place in our society. This is not a partisan issue. We must all work to end this practice, both within politics and elsewhere. First thing when it comes to these these uh, terrible examples of misconduct um, is that we need to believe survivors. That's a starting point. We also need to acknowledge the courage it takes to come forward. It's very difficult to do so. Uh, this is something that takes a lot of courage, and we have to acknowledge that courage. Uh, people that are coming forward are really helping us inform how we can change the culture in our society. I don't know anything about it, so I can't really say much about it. Uh, I think that it is great that we live in a community and at a time in history where people are feeling comfortable coming forward because everyone deserves to be safe in their workplace, in their homes, in the community. Uh, and I think that's something that everyone in public life shares. Now, MP Hare has just made a statement on this saying, quote, throughout my career, I've always tried to conduct myself with respect towards others. And I understand the most important thing for each individual is how each individual feels. He adds, I've been informed that an investigation into these allegations has begun, and I welcome and respect that process. In Calgary, Michael Lumsden, City News.